Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Time Machine on Mavericks. The first thing to do is make sure that the external hard drive is set up properly. If your drive is already set up properly, click here to go straight to the Time Machine setup. So let's get the external hard drive ready to go. Go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, and Open Disk Utility. Select the main part of your external hard drive and click on the Partition tab. From the Partition Layout menu, select One Partition. Next, name the drive something appropriate. I'm going to name mine MacBook Pro Time Machine Backup. Now select Mac OS Extended Journal from the Format menu. Click on Options and make sure GUID Partition Table is selected. And now we're ready to partition. Just note, this will erase all files on the external hard drive, so if you have any important files on the drive, back them up before doing this next step. Click Apply and Partition. When it's complete, the drive will show up on your desktop. Now the external hard drive is ready, so let's set up Time Machine. Go to the Apple icon, System Preferences, and click on Time Machine. Note here that this information will be blank if you've never used Time Machine before. The first option here on the bottom is to show the Time Machine icon in the menu bar. This is nice because the icon allows you to access Time Machine quickly. Next, click on Options. If you want to exclude something from the backup, just click the plus, navigate to the file or folder, highlight it, and click Exclude. This setting here is for laptops only, and you can check it to allow backups while on battery power. You can check the other option here to be notified if old backups are deleted. When you're done with this, click Save. Now let's select the disk we want to use. Here it's showing me the old disk that I used in the past and any other disk that I can use. I'm going to select the disk I just prepared. Also, you can check this option to have your backups encrypted and click Use Disk. If you have used other disks in the past, it will ask you if you want to use both disks for backing up or just the disk you've selected. I'm going to replace my old backup drive because I'm never going to use it again. Now that this disk is chosen, Time Machine is automatically turned on and it will do its first backup and continue on from there with hourly backups. If you ever want to force Time Machine to backup immediately, go to the Time Machine icon in the menu bar and select Backup Now. This will also show you the last backup time and the status of the backup if it's currently backing up. Also, this gives you quick access to preferences and retrieving old files with the Enter Time Machine option. With Mavericks, it's a bit harder to tell if Time Machine is actually backing up. So here's the difference between the icons. And one final note, make sure you eject your backup drive properly before disconnecting it from your computer by right clicking on the drive and select eject and wait until the drive disappears from the desktop. So that's how to set up Time Machine in Mavericks. And if this helped you out, please click the like button. It's the easiest way to support this channel. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.